how worried should we be? It tells you it's okay, don't worry. SPF tests can vary a lot and sunscreens are still good. This should not be the takeaway from my reel. Yes, a bigger problem is not applying enough, not reapplying, not layering protection. But in my opinion, there is a real problem being highlighted by choice and it's not just ultraviolet or even just Australian sunscreens. I thought my reel plus caption plus story highlights was enough, but to clarify, this wasn't about choices testing, this is about the formula in the tube changing over time. The manufacturer might need to use a different brand of an ingredient, there might be little changes in production processes. So a batch of sunscreen made three years later might not have the same SPF even if they checked that all these things were still the same. And because mineral formulas are less robust, they're more likely to get messed up, and that's if the SPF tests were done correctly in the first place. There are a bunch of possible explanations for this SPF4 result and some of the other low ones. I don't think there's enough information to say for sure, but I do have some theories. And with the most likely ones, lean screen would not be the only sunscreen affected. Some people ask me if they should stop using other ultraviolet sunscreens, but in my opinion, that is not the main concern. Most small brands don't make their own products, they rely on experts at contract manufacturers. So it's products with very similar formulas from different brands that I worry about, 23-ish percent zinc oxide, similar inactive ingredients. I put them aside for now and use a different sunscreen for high UV situations, if you can, until we learn more. And what really pisses me off about this is the whole relying on experts thing. Over the last few weeks, I've had a lot of conversations. I've seen dozens of industry experts say very concerning things. These are people who really should know better. They get paid for their expertise. And yes, brands need to do their due diligence, but technical stuff in the industry is very specialized. So at some point, you need to be able to trust people claiming to be experts. And to me, it's very clear, a lot of them should not be trusted. 